This is One on One. Elizabeth Denise, otherwise known as Chef Beth, is the director of the Culinary Arts Program at Burlington County College. Good to see you. Good to see you, Steve. Thank you for having me. Chef Beth, we like having you here. Um, tell folks about what's going on in your program. You run the uh, Culinary Arts Program down at Burlington County. This field of culinary arts and, um, and, and this whole is, is exploding. Why? A few reasons, Steve. Number one, there's very many jobs available. One out of every 13 New Jerseyans works in hospitality somewhere. So we have five degree programs at BCC, culinary arts, baking and pastry, food service, hospitality management, and casino resort management. So graduates of our programs will be ready to work because as New Jersey rebuilds itself after the uh, superstorm, we think that there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for our graduates in hospitality and culinary arts. Chef Beth, what's your story? I used to be a broadcast engineer, actually. So get out of here! Really? Mm -hmm. um, so I worked uh, for a couple of large, for networks and worked for Channel 12 for five years. Right. And I got tired of traveling on a satellite truck, so uh, <laughs> went back to the restaurant business. Uh, became a chef 13 years By ago. Well, you know, you're giving a lot of people around here ideas. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry about that. No, that's um, okay. We don't want to lose our really good people. But you said, "No, I'm done with this." I'm done. But did you always love? The baking, cooking, what? I've always loved cooking. I've always loved to be in the kitchen. My dad owned a restaurant when I was a teenager, so... Um, Where'd you grow up? Uh, in Bergen County. Okay. So I actually was born in Patterson, so I'm Got from it. around here. Right where we do the show. Absolutely. So, so where did the, the opportunity for you to actually get into it professionally come from? I worked for an excellent chef in New York by the name of Brian Young at a uh, restaurant um, in New York City while I was also a broadcast engineer, so I worked as an engineer during the day and a cook at night. Wow. So... I uh, really enjoyed uh, the transition and was very lucky to work for some excellent chefs. How do you wind up down at Burlington? I they recruit you? Um, they did. I moved to Philadelphia in 2000 actually to work for Marriott and began teaching at, in about 2005 and uh, decided to uh, come out of the kitchen, out of the professional, um, out of the day-to-day -day kitchen and decided to be a full-time educator in uh, 2010. So. Describe for folks who may not understand why an academic institution, a community, a county college would be into this. What is the curriculum? We have, a, uh, we have an excellent culinary curriculum and baking one as well. What we try to do is give students the basics, basic knife skills, the mother sauces. <laughs> we generally give them the tools to walk into any entry level position in any kitchen around the world. So what we do is we basically, if you think about culinary education as a house, we provide them the foundation. They take the foundation and then build their careers from what they've done at BCC. Where do they go? They get out of there, what happens to them? Our students have gone everywhere from the restaurant literally across the street from the culinary facility to Philadelphia. We had a student intern at Bon Appetit magazine. We have students at supermarkets. We have students at fine dining restaurants and nursing homes. And then we have them in the college cafeteria as well. We really try to get students where they would like to go. Let me ask, ask you, because we've been talking to people from the community and county colleges more and more. Do you see your role different, as a different role than a four-year institution in terms of what you're preparing students for? I mean, you really are preparing them for careers. We're really preparing them for careers. And one of the things that differentiate a two-year degree, say, from an institution like ours from a four-year institution is our students are prepared after two years of education to take that entry level management position. So if a student finishes our program with say two or three years of cooking experience, that person could go and then get a junior sous chef position. A what? A junior sous chef position or an entry level management position. Does the proximity to Atlantic City matter here? Absolutely. As being uh, with Atlantic City being one of the largest employers in the state, um, as you know, Ravel was built last year, well, opened employing 5,000 people. We think as the shore recovers as well and Atlantic City recovers as well that there'll be a lot of significant opportunity for students to, and not only work for large companies, but to open small restaurants of their own. Now, is there, my understanding is there's a restaurant um, right in the area down there. I mean, connect it to your facility. Talk about we that. We actually have a student-run restaurant that's Is, this, open. is it actually student-run, though? It's actually student-run. We have a back of the house instructor who's me, and we have a front of the house instructor who teaches front of the house fine dining service. Oh, explain, you're using language we don't know. What's back of the house? So back of the house means the uh, there's a kitchen operations class, so we have cooks and pastry pastry cooks, and then there's a maitre d' instructor. Our maitre d' instructor instructs students 
on fine dining in the front of the house or in the restaurant dining room itself. Okay, so help me understand this. Why are you in the back versus being out front? I'm a very hands-on person and I really did not want to leave the kitchen. So I enjoy being in Chef's Whites, I enjoy cooking, and I really enjoy tr being with students and teaching students how to cook. So I'm in the kitchen with the students who are pre preparing the meals that are being served in the dining room by our students in the dining room service class. Is there actually a unique set of skills connected with being out front? There is. I think one of the, it's primarily people skills. If you're not good with people, you're going to find that working in the dining room is very difficult. One of the things that people don't understand is that being a waiter is a profession in every other country but ours. <laughs> Wait a minute. We in this country do not respect and appreciate the profession of being a waiter? Say not like it's appreciated in places like France or Italy. So I think that one of the things that we can do, as, and not only at BCC, but as culinary educators as a whole, is really provide some kind of career path for students who want to be waiters and want to be sommeliers and want to be restaurant managers. It's been almost a neglected art in the U.S. And by the way, sommeliers has to really have is to do... Is a wine steward. Yeah, but I, I was going to say that. They don't assume I don't know. I know these things. I was trying to show off, but you wouldn't oh, give me a chance to do it. I didn't mean to. Uh. Um, real quick, before I let you out of here, the physical setting of where you do it, there's, was it Old Farm? Uh, it's actually an old bank. The bank was old built bank, right. in... What's the name of the bank? The, it was the Farmers and Mechanics Bank, built in 1815. Where is it? The Farmers... And Mechanics Bank. Go ahead. Built in 1815. What makes the place so interesting? They left the entire outside <laughs> of the building. They have a vault in the middle of the dining room that's load-bearing to the building wow. and can't be removed. It cannot? It cannot be removed because it's load-bearing for the building. So you we know, have a beautiful vault in the middle of our dining room. That's what's going on down at Burlington County College. Come Chef visit Chef Director of the Culinary Arts Program down there. I want to thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Steve, very much for Good having stuff. me. Stay right there. One-on-one -on -one will continue right after this. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One-on-One -on -One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Wells Fargo, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the New Jersey Education Association, New Jersey Council of County Colleges, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, PSENG, and by Verizon Communications. Promotional support provided by The Star Ledger and NJ.com, and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.